Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and today I want to talk about how I pattern bass during the pre spawn. All right, so the first thing I do when I want to pattern fish during the pre-spawn, water temperature's moving up, it's gotten into the 50s, the fish have moved up shallow or are starting to move up shallow and they're moving back towards the spawning flats. This is the time of the year where I almost totally forget about looking for bait fish before I find the bass. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for spawning areas, shallow pockets, shallow bays, shallow back in the back of the creeks. I'm trying to figure out where these bass are going to spawn. And the way I figure that out is with a lake map, either a Navionics uh, web app or the, the map on my, on my fish finder or a good old fashioned paper map. This one is not the best one, but it kind of helps a little bit. And the one I, my favorite places to look when I'm looking for pre-spawn fish is going to be back in the back of major creeks. All right, I'm going to pull you guys a little bit closer and show you what I'm talking about. This is Clarks Hill Lake, or part of it. It is a 71,000 acre lake. All right, and this is the north end. Not exactly the end I want. I want the south end. Okay, we're looking at the south end right here. Now, I look back in these long creek arms right here, and I look back in the creek arms here, and I decide which ones I want to pick. And the ones that are going to warm up first are the ones that are pr protected from a northwest wind. Northwest wind or a north wind or a west wind is always the coldest wind, and they're the ones that, that's the ones that come with a cold front, and they're going to drop the water temperature quite a bit. So I want to find a pocket that's protected from a north and a west or a northwest wind, okay? What I typically look for is I'll go back up in a pocket just like this, and I'm gonna look for points or pockets and shallow areas that are facing northwest. So I'm standing in the pockets, and if I'm standing in the mouth of the pocket, looking into it, I'm facing northwest. And then I look and I start looking and see where there's a, whether there is shallow areas in the back of these pockets. All right, so I've, I've established a few spawning areas. There's one right here, some right up in here. I just happen to be sitting right here right now, back in Landon Branch, okay? And all this back here is shallow. And the way you tell it's shallow is you get a little bit more detailed topo mapping. And, and what I use is I typically use my Navionics web app, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it out and show it to you. All right, so hopefully you can see this without too much glare. You got shallow areas back in here and back in here, and you got water that runs into the back of each of these pockets. I just happen to be sitting right about here. And then I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see where this creek channel runs. And the key spots that I that I go for, the, there's the key spots that I look for is I look for the points heading into spawning pockets. So there's a point right here, and there's a point right here, not much of one, and I wanna one of the first places I'm going to hit is going to be those points and then I'm going to work my way back and I'm going to go over here to where the creek channel runs up against the bank. So I'm looking for the steepest bank as I go back in there and I'll hit another point and another point and I'm going to go right on back and once again you got a ch what's called a channel swing. The channel will swing right up against this bank right here because it's a see the lines are real close together. See right here the lines are real close together here. Okay we get it to swing right up against there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish this bank, and if I don't get bit, I'm gonna go to another one until that happens. Right now, the water temperature's in the low 50s or mid 50s, going up into the 60s, and I really, truly expect them to be at the, on the points on the outside of these, these pockets. So I'm gonna start hitting these points and just go for it. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go see how we do. All right, now, 
As you're moving your way back into the backs of the pockets or the backs of the spawning bays, a back, you know, moving your way towards the backs of the creeks and you're still, you're searching for those bass, you're still searching, don't pass up what they call transitions. For years I had no clue what a transition was uh, and just recently figured it out. It's when, and I've always fished them, I just never knew that they were called transitions. Um, it's where the bank changes from one composition to the next, clay bank to a sandy bank, you know, rock to a big rock to a little rock or you know just a place where there's a change in the in the bottom see this coming right up here we've got kind of pea gravel right here pea gravel being really really small gravel sand and then it comes to you start seeing big rock big chunk rock and so the kind of areas you focus on are those areas still cast in between get those what, what we call bonus fish but as you come up to that spot spend a little bit of extra time there maybe throw a different bait make four five six extra casts to that spot where it transitions and you're liable to find a pattern within a pattern or you're liable to find some really big fish because that's the kind of place as they do and why do they stop there they it's just a change and they stop to see if there's food there and they may hang out there for a little while they may pull back there when a cold front comes through and they're spawning they may pull back to that spot it's just a spot that's different and it makes them want to stop and check it out now one of the key places to hit as you're moving into a spawning bay say this is a spawning bay which it is um, it's not really a long creek, it's just a shallow pocket uh, off to the edge of the creek and the bass will eventually move in there to spawn, or at least a portion of them. And the first place I'm always going to hit is either the mouth of the creek or the mouth of the spawning bay are these rocky points. You see that rock right there, you got this point that comes right out off the off the land the boats in six feet of water which is a little too shallow I like to keep it in nine feet because I'm running a uh, crankbait that runs five feet deep and I'm gonna cast it out and I'm just gonna work this point really good really slow bounce that crankbait off of stuff maybe drag a Carolina rig lizard Texas rig lizard creature bait just try a bunch of things on it is all I'm gonna do and these rocky points, because they've got a hard bottom, they, they, they tend to attract more fish, at least in my experience. There's one right there, barely felt the bite. And it's a good one too. Right off of that point, like I said, guys, let's see if I can get him in. I mean, I never felt the bite. Ah, look at that. And that's a typical bite of this time of the year. They just come and grab the back end of it. That's why you have sharp hooks. Awesome, awesome. And of course the sun is in the wrong place. <laughs> Let me turn this around. And I promise you, this is not going to be the only fish on this point. I may come back to it several times today. Nice male moved up, getting ready to move in the back and spawn. See the red lips? A lot of people say that's because they're eating crawfish. Maybe. Pretty cool. Right off a point, going into the back of that spawning bay. So what does that tell me? I mean, I literally never felt the bite. He just came up and grabbed the back end of it. it means that they are still a little slow. So I'm going to crank slow. I'm going to drag that thing along the bottom as slow as I can go. And anything different, I'm going to set the hook. All that felt like is I felt like I had grabbed a sock. Just felt a little different than, than bouncing on the bottom. Tough sometimes, tough, 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 but you can catch them. Throwing a crankbait takes a ton of concentration when this kind of stuff is happening. You gotta really pay attention to the vibration on that bait and what it's doing and feeling it bounce off of rocks and get hung in the grass. and. Alright, so I'm going to try something. Caught a fish off of that point. It was a rocky point. It had some big chunk rock. There's another point coming up inside the spawning bay or to further back in the spawning bay. And I'm going to go try that point out and, uh, and see if there's something on it. 
One fish is a fish, two fish is a pattern. All right, so here's that point. I'm in nine foot of water right now. Let me get my trolling motor turned down. Cast over across that point. <laughs> Smoked it and I missed him. So, one fish is just a fish. Two fish doing the same thing is a pattern. Rocky points. How far back is the question? All right, I'm gonna go across the way. It's a lot better rocky point over on this other side of the other side of this bay. Pocket, whatever you want to call it. All right, well, I just fished this entire little pocket out and the only place I got bit were on those first points on the inside of this pocket. So I feel like I have a somewhat of a pattern developed. I don't know if it's rocky points or just the fact that they're points. So I'm gonna go hit a few more pockets. I'm gonna hit the point on the outside and the second one in and then go across the other, you know, just kind of work points until I can figure out, until I can work out whether it's rocky points or whether it's, you know, clay points or whether the fact that it's just a point outside of a, a spawning bay. All right, crank up and move. There's one right there, right on a point. So I have got a pattern and this is not a little one. This is another good one. On a point leading into a spawning bay. Come on, stay in the boat. There it is, guys. So I'm just gonna go around and <laughs> hit points going into the spawning base from here on out. Not bad. This, my friends, is a good fish. I haven't seen it yet, but it's got the head shakes of a big bass. I haven't seen it, but I'm gonna get the net. Ho, 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 come on, fish. It just barely hooked. Crap, come on. Come on. Come on. There goes my net. <laughs> Ooh, golly. Fishing points going into spawning pockets. Oh, I guarantee this one ain't by itself either. Oh, man. Look at that freaking toad. 
<laughs> Guys, this is why we do this. This is why we do this. Man. Pre-spawn, staging. Caught it on a point going into a pocket. That's been my pattern today. Well, guys, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Get the spider off my lens. <laughs> introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water. Go out and catch some fish. Have an amazing day. Because I am awesome. Pow!